So this is the Lineage OS 16 mod on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today I'm going to show you how is it running and this is the Android Pie based Lineage OS mod and this is not official by the way and I just flashed it with micro G apps and let me quickly show you the settings panel first. Let's go into system and over here you get this advanced mode and here you do get a lot of things and over here we do have this camera to API toggle. And I'll show you the camera stuff, the stock camera stuff later on. But we do get this camera to API toggle, which is a good thing. And let's go back. We have the updater over here, but I'm not sure if it like works or not. But I think it doesn't, but I'm not pretty sure about it. And inside developer options, you get more option like advanced reboot and stuff. So developer option is enabled by default, by the way, guys. And now let me show you the about section quickly. Here, let's go into Android version. And here you will see this is the 5th January 2019 build of the uh, like the Lineage OS 16 based on Android Pi. And this is of course based on Android 9 Pi and here is the easter egg of Android Pi. And this is the Lineage OS easter egg of Android Pi. And as you can see with the Android Pi easter egg it does have the Lineage OS logo in the middle and it changes colors of course. So it does look pretty cool. let's go back here we have the december 5th 2018 security patch not the january 5th as of now and over here this is the build date and stuff the stock kernel and stuff you can see it from here it's the perf plus kernel so that's how it is let's go back and in terms of the customizations we have this buttons option over here from here you get this show arrow key while like typing over here and then we have this buttons and layout option and from here you can change the layout or invert the layout as you can see I have changed it to right side I mean the back button is now on the right side and you can just do this to the left side again and of course we do have this Android pie rotation stuff so that is a pretty cool feature let's go back from here and over here you get this home screen like home button long press action and it is set to search assistant let me just do that and show you as you can see it does not simply work I mean the Google Assistant does not simply come up if you just press and hold it. So that's how it is as of now. And here we have the double tap action and stuff for the home and other buttons. So these options are present over there. We have the power menu customizations. And let me show you the power menu quickly. Here you get the power menu. And as I enabled the advanced reboot from the developer option, here if you press restart, it's gonna show you like re reboot to system recovery or fast boot. And we have the like long press power button for torch and if you have like locked the phone and if you try to press and hold the power button it will turn up the torch so that is a pretty cool thing and even the fingerprint scanner and stuff does work super fine over here and you do get this like volume buttons kind of customization let's go back and we do have the status bar customization as usual in lineage ways here you get the quick pull down from right or left you can customize it we have the network traffic indicator if you want to like use that we have the system icons from here you can enable headset hotspot bluetooth etc icons and we do not have any vaulty icon over here but vaulty does work super fine and in the clock settings we have the like you can choose the clock to be in the center if you want it like that and you can like enable am pm and you can change the size and stuff and we have the brightness slider, auto brightness and even brightness control from the status bar. So this is a pretty cool feature and I do use it on my daily basis. And this is like just amazing that this feature is present over here. Now let me show you the gesture settings and from here you will get the swipe up home gesture. And with this you, you can just swipe up to get the recent panel just like once. And if you swipe it all the way up it will get you to the like app drawer of course. And over here we do have this audio effects and stuff 
and you can definitely use it the sound output via the loudspeaker and even the headphone jack is fine you do not need to worry but of course it's not as good as MIUI and over here you do get this like lineage OS kind of apps like this gallery app and some more apps and now let me show you the stock cameras well we do have the Mi A2's camera over here and as you can see portrait mode and stuff does work super fine you don't need to worry at all this like video mode and stuff does work you don't need to worry even portrait selfies are fine with the MIUI camera and we do have the Pixel 3 camera too present by default over here so we get two cameras by default you don't need to worry at all regarding the camera in this ROM and even in the Pixel 3 camera we get the portrait mode and stuff we have the motion enabled and stuff like that so the Google camera or the Pixel 3 camera and the Mi A2's camera works just fine like by default so that is a pretty cool thing in my opinion so now let me show you the display settings and stuff and if you go into the settings just go to display and from here you will get a lot of options like auto brightness or adaptive brightness is there live display is there and from here you can change the color profile you can set it to warm normal or cool mode if you like want it that way and even you can change it to like day night or you can set it to off or you have this color temperature option you can like change this color temperature of the screen and we even have this reading mode if you turn it on the display is gonna go grayscale or black and white so that is a pretty cool feature and you can even further customize the colors of the screen like you can definitely control the rgb of the screen like individually so that is pretty cool and we have the picture adjustment mode from where you can just change the hue saturation intensity and contrast as well so these options are pretty cool and in style settings we do have the like the theme kind of stuff and from here you can change it to automatic by wallpaper automatic by time of the day and even you can change it to light and dark and you can change the accent colors to these many options by default it, it is kind of this kind of color like the cyan color by default and i have changed it to blueberry so that's how it is because i like it that way like the stock android theme and you can change it to like the dark mode you can change it to black like totally black not just the dark kind of look and you can even change it to like totally automatic depending on the wallpaper i guess or something like that and over here you do get like a lot of stuff regarding the rotation and you can like rotate the screen if you have turned on rotation you can even rotate the screen 180 degrees so this is a pretty cool feature in my opinion if you want to use it you can use it and it even like works with the lock screen and stuff so that's how it is let's go back and we have the tap to wake or double tap to wake functionality pretty cool feature even like a lot of you guys might need it so double tap to wake is a pretty cool feature and it is there and tap to sleep or double tap to sleep is of course there in the status bar and lock screen both works just fine you don't need to worry and wake on plug is a great feature too i can disable it and whenever i plug my charger the screen just doesn't light up so that is pretty cool feature i really use it and what else we have the sound settings and from here you do have this like vibrate for call option and from here you can't really like control the intensity of the vibration but the touch vibration intensity over here or the haptic feedback is pretty smooth it feels premium it's soft so that's how it is and you can change the dial pad tone screen locking sound charging sound touch sounds etc options are present over here and let me just go back inside battery settings we do have like more options like the battery percentage and stuff you can like enable or disable it from here you can change this like battery is power saver option the performance level it is like kind of balanced right now so you can definitely change it to performance if you want to use it that way or you can just choose it to be power saving mode so that's how it is the battery life is pretty good i do not have any complaints as you can see i have like used the phone around two hours or 52 and 52 minutes or almost around three hours and the battery is still 72 percent left so that is pretty cool thing as you can see i haven't charged it in the middle so the battery is pretty cool and you'll definitely get seven to eight hours of screen on time depending on your usage so now let me show you some more things inside security it does have this like lock screen notification hiding option now let me just like set the smart lock and show you that the face unlock works fine or not so as you can see we do have the face unlock option working but you have to manually swipe up to unlock so that's how it is because there is no like kind of uh, auto face unlock thing 
in the like customization options so we do only have this like status bar kind of customizations so no like face auto unlock as of now present over here in this rom so i hope this feature comes around like in the future updates but even right now the rom is super stable and it is like really really smooth you don't need to worry and the stock launcher by the way it has this like google now cards to the left and you can just like swipe up of course and it does not have the like swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get the notification panel and stuff so those features are not there and by the way let me show you the home screen settings so this is how the launcher settings looks like so pretty minimalistic and i have to say like while setting up the rom i did face some issues that i have flashed micro g apps on this rom and it was like showing me some force closes in the setup wizard so that's how it is as of now i guess but i'll link it below if you want to flash this rom i'll link the rom file below and the g apps of course but i'll recommend you guys flashing this rom with pico g apps or something because micro g apps was having some kind of issues but it did work fine after like two to three times of trying and by the way banking apps well Google Pay was not really setting up like automatically after flashing the ROM so I had to just go into the settings of the Google Play services then from the permission of the Google Play services I disabled the phone and SMS app permission and let me quickly show you the fingerprint scanner speed So as you can see the fingerprint scanner works just fine but it is not of course one of the most fastest fingerprint scanner unlock but yeah it works. So that's how it is. So let me know in the comments if you guys like it or not. The ROM is super fast. I do not have any kind of issues regarding the performance of this ROM. Everything is snappy. I do not have any complaints. So that is pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.